I'm Natalie Brunel for Bitcoin Magazine, and we're talking Bitcoin's stock to flow model by Plan B. All right, so if you're new to Bitcoin, let's catch you up. The now infamous stock to flow model is this colorful chart right over here that was released back in March 2019 by the pseudonymous Plan B. He's a Dutch institutional investor with a legal and quantitative finance background, and the model has been remarkably accurate. It attempts to forecast the value of Bitcoin based on the stock to flow ratio, which is the amount of Bitcoin in the existing stockpile divided by its yearly production. It essentially quantifies the relationship between the relative scarcity of Bitcoin and the price of the asset. And the higher the stock to flow, the harder the money. And Bitcoin is getting increasingly harder. So let's run the ratio. Bitcoin has a stock of about 18.8 million coins and around 900 are mined per day, which is a little under 330,000 Bitcoins per year. That gives us a stock to flow of about 57.2, which ranks Bitcoin just below gold, at least for now. One of the most amazing things about the stock to flow model is it was released in the depth of a bear market. Bitcoin's price was hovering around three or $4,000, yet it has been like a crystal ball for Bitcoin's rising value. Now, it's not at all a perfect science due to the volatility. The price of Bitcoin impressively oscillated around the model over the last two years. But then over the summer, when Bitcoin retraced 50% from April's highs, the deviation from the model value widened to historic levels. Now, we're hoping it's getting back on track. Now, on Twitter, Plan B is also very active in tracking Bitcoin based on its price and on-chain data, which are both looking great, but they are different from the stock-to-flow model. Actually, back in June, after Bitcoin's price plummeted, he said his worst-case scenario for the rest of the year was August 47,000 per coin, September 43,000, October 63,000, and worst case for November and December, 98,000 and 135,000. So you can see from one of his latest tweets, We've been hitting all of those check marks based on price and on chain data, and closing October at 61,000 is pretty close to the minimum target. But Stock to Flow says we should already be at around $100,000 per coin. By the way, charting Stock to Flow is not a new concept, and it's been done for other commodities like gold. The supplies can't easily be expanded because the process of mining gold is both time consuming and expensive, so it has a high Stock to Flow and it's hard money. Plan B actually quantified Bitcoin Stock to Flow to other commodities like gold, silver, real estate, and diamonds. In fact, Plan B actually has two models that he's released. The first is Stock to Flow, S2F, and the second is Stock to Flow Cross Asset, also known as S2FX. S2FX can be best understood as consolidating the known facts from Plan B's research and providing new ideas for Bitcoin's transition from proof of concept to a widely adopted monetary asset. Now, the two models predict different prices for the end of 2021. Stock to flow says we should be around $100,000 per coin, whereas stock to flow cross asset goes as high as 288,000. And after the next halving, by 2025, we could see a $1 million Bitcoin. Now remember, Bitcoin is scarce by design and Satoshi programmed it to not only have a limited supply, but for it to become harder and harder to extract new Bitcoins from the network as time goes on. All right, so check out the numbers. We went from 50 Bitcoin as a reward in 2009 to 25 in 2012, 12.5 in 2016, and 6.25 in 2020. The block reward continues to decrease and will have the next halving in the spring of 2024. Halvings have an instant and massive impact on the stock to flow. As inflation lowers, the stock to flow number goes up and so goes the price, or at least that's been the pattern. Now, if some of the minimum targets for the next couple of months are correct, we could see Bitcoin gaining 40% of its value in a short amount of time, getting us closer and closer to that six-figure valuation per coin. And you know, with new ETFs, positive signals from US bank regulators, and inflation heating up, it won't be that surprising to see a parabolic explosion upwards. For more on the stock to flow model and Plan B's work, head to bitcoinmagazine.com and check out my interview with Plan B on the Coin Stories podcast. Yep.